फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैंक एग्जाम कैफे एंड इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन इन द एपिसोड ऑफ वन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स दिस इज पार्ट सिक्स एंड प्रीवियसली वी हैव अपलोडेड फाइव पार्ट एंड द लिंक्स ऑफ ऑल दिस फाइव पार्ट आर प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स I request you to go through all these five parts and watch all this video so that you will get an idea that which type of questions are being asked as one mark questions and how to deal with such questions. Also friends I have given all the links of the revision questions in the PDF format download that PDF and watch all the videos of one mark questions two mark questions and five mark questions now let us move to the first question of today's episode so friends here is the question on the screen that find the number of terms in at the arithmetic progression 18 15 1/2 15 and 1/2 13 and so on up to minus 47 friends we have to find the number of terms in this arithmetic progression so here a that is the first term is 18 so a is equal to 18 then common difference that is the second term minus first term second term is 5 to the 30 30 and 1 31 so it will be 31 by 2 minus first term that is 18 and therefore d is equal to minus 5 by 2 Minus five by two. So here you have got a. You know d, and you have to find the number of terms that is how much. And the last term is also given to you that is a n is equal to minus forty seven. Now friends, since you know the formula to find the a n is a n is equal to a plus into bracket n minus one. Into d. So here a n given to us as minus forty seven. So it will be minus forty seven, which is equal to a that is the first term. So it will be eighteen plus n we have to find. So it will be n minus one close the bracket into d that is common difference is minus five by two. Now take eighteen to this side. So it will become minus eighteen. So forty seven. Minus 18, and that will be equal to 65. So it will be minus 65, which is equal to multiply by 5 by 2 inside the bracket, or first take 2 to this side and then multiply. So it will be n minus 1 into bracket and minus multiplied by minus 2. Then to take 2 to this side, so it will be minus 65 into 2. That will be minus hundred and thirty, which is equal to multiply by minus five inside the bracket. So it will be minus five n minus minus will be plus five. Now take five to this side, so it will be minus five. So one thirty five minus five that will be minus one hundred and thirty five, which is equal to minus five n. And therefore, friends, n is equal to minus 135 divided by 5. That will be equal to 27. 5 to the 10 and 5 7 to 35. So the number of terms in the given arithmetic progression are 27. Highlight your answer. So here is the next question on the screen. That which term of AP? Minus four minus one two dash dash is one hundred and one. We have to say that one hundred and one will be the which term of this given AP. So here, friends, we require the first term, and that first term is what minus four. Then we require the common difference. Common difference means what? Second term minus first term. So it will be second term is minus one minus first term. So minus minus will be plus. And then four, and therefore d that is equal to three, and here a n that is the last term that is equal to one hundred and one, and now here 
we have to we have the formula that a n a n which is equal to a plus into bracket n minus one close the bracket into d. So a n that is the last term is one hundred and one which is equal to first term is minus four plus n minus one into multiplied by d that is three. Now take this four to this side so it will become plus four. So hundred and four plus four that will be hundred and five. Which is equal to multiply by three inside the bracket, so it will be three n minus three. And take three to this side, and so it will be plus three. So one hundred and five plus three that will be one hundred and eight. So three n is equal to one hundred and eight. So three ones are three, three threes are nine, three sixes are eighteen, and therefore n is equal to thirty six. So 101 will be the 36th term of this given AP. Now see the next question. The next question is that find the coordinates of A where AB is a diameter of a circle whose center is 2 comma 3 and B is a point with the coordinates 1 and 4. Now friends, here it is given that. AB is a diameter. This is a circle, and AB, A, B is a diameter, and the B point has the coordinates as one and four, and C is the center. C is the center uh, whose coordinates are two and three, and you have to find the coordinates of A, and you have to find the coordinates. of a so coordinates of a you have to find let that coordinates be x and y now friends since ab is a diameter ab is a diameter this c will be the midpoint and therefore to find the coordinates of a we can use the midpoint formula that is 2 is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 so we get 2 is equal to x1 Plus x2 upon 2, but here x1 is what? X1 is x plus x2 that is 1 upon 2. Take 2 to this side, so 2 to the 4, so x plus 1 that is equal to 4. Take 1 to this side, that will be minus 1, so 4 minus 1 will be 3. So x coordinate you have got as 3. Now, friends, we have to find the y coordinate. Same way, three is equal to y one plus y two upon two. So it will be three is equal to y one plus y two. Y two is four upon two. So this will be three two the six. So y is equal. Uh, sorry, uh, y plus. Y plus four. Which is equal to six. So take four to this side. So it will be six minus four. So y is equal to four. And therefore the coordinates of A are three and two. Now see the next question. Here is the next question for what value of k? The equation x square plus four x plus k is equal to zero are real. Friends, for real value, for uh, the equation to be real, the condition is that the d should be greater than or equal to zero. If d is greater than zero, then the roots will be the roots will be distinct, means different and real. If d is equal to zero, then the roots will be equal, same. And real, but if d is less than zero, then there will be no roots, and that will therefore it will be no real. So for real, the conditions are d should be equal to greater than or equal to zero. So d is what it is b square minus four ac, which is equal to zero. Now b square b is what coefficient of x that is four, and four square will be sixteen minus four. 
into a a is coefficient of x square that is 1 into c is a constant term that is k is greater than or equal to 0 now here 4 ones are 4 so this will be 4k so 16 minus 4k that is greater than or equal to 0 and now here 16 minus 4k is greater than or equal to 0 it means this value is the positive value or is equal to 0 correct so here when this value will be positive if 16 is greater than 4k if 16 is greater than 4k then only this value will be the uh, positive value so we can say that 16 is greater than or equal to 4k and so here 4 1s are 4, 4 4s are 16 so 4 is greater than or equal to k and when 4 is greater than or equal to k it means k is less than or equal to 4 and therefore we get the value of k that k should be less than or equal to 4 then only the given equation will have the real values now move to the next Find the value of k for which the roots of the equation 3x square minus 10x plus k is equal to 0 are reciprocal of each other. Now it is given that the roots of the given equation are reciprocal of each other. So let the first root be alpha and therefore the other root will be 1 upon alpha because it is given that the roots are reciprocal and to have the recipro uh, roots reciprocal what should be the value of k so the given equation is x square 3x square minus 10x plus k is equal to 0 now we will take the product of the roots that is alpha into 1 upon alpha here we are not taking sum of the roots because if you take sum of the roots the sum of the roots that is equal to minus b upon a and if you take minus b upon a here you will not get k but we have to find the value of k we will take the product of the roots because product of the roots that is equal to c upon a in which k you will get and therefore we are taking the product of the roots so alpha into 1 upon alpha that is equal to c upon a so this alpha will get cancelled and 1 is equal to c upon a that is k upon 3 k upon 3 so take 3 to the side and you will get k is equal to 3 so for the value of k is equal to 3 the given quadratic equation will have reciprocal roots of each other now move to the next question two cubes having their volumes in the ratio 1 is to 27 find the ratio find the ratio of their surface area now friends here it is given that the two cubes have their have their volumes in the ratio 1 is to 27 so the volume of the first cube to that of the volume of the second cube is given as 1 is to 27 now the volume of the first cube will be what side cube let a is the side then it will be a1 cube and if the side of the second cube is a2 then it will be a2 cube which is equal to 120 1 by 27 and now taking cube root of both the sides you will get a1 upon a2 that is equal to 1 by 3 so here you have got the ratio of the sides of the two cubes now we have to find the ratio of the now we have to find the ratio of the surface area so let s1 be the surface area of the first cube and s2 is the surface area of the second cube and surface area of cube is given as 6a square so it will be 6a1 square upon 6a2 square here 6 and 6 will get cancelled and we can write it as a1 upon a2 bracket square and a1 upon a2 is what 1 upon 3 so it will be 1 upon 3 bracket square 
and 1 upon 3 bracket square that is equal to 1 by 9 and therefore the ratio of the given cubes will be ratio of the surface areas of the given cubes will be 1 is to 9. Now the question is that find the distance of a point P whose coordinates are X and Y from the origin. The point P whose coordinates are X and Y and the origin, let that origin be O, whose coordinates will be 0 and 0. And we have to find the distance PO. And therefore, PO is equal to, we know that it is x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. And so, PO is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 that is x minus 0 bracket square that will be x square plus y2 minus y1 that is y2 minus y1 that is y minus 0 bracket square that will be y square and therefore the distance PO that will be equal to square root of x square plus y square. Now see the last question of today's episode that in an AP if the common difference is minus 4 and the seventh term is 4, then find the first term. Now friends, here it is given that d is equal to minus 4. And the seventh term that is a7 is equal to 4. This is given. And friends, here a7 is what? a plus 6d. Correct? Which is equal to 4. d is given to you as minus 4. Put the value here. So a plus 6 into minus 4 which is equal to 4. So 6 4 the 24 so it will be minus 24 so a minus 24 that is equal to 4 take 24 to other side it will be plus 4 so plus 24 so 4 plus 24 that is equal to 28 so the value of 8 is equal to 28 highlight and therefore the first term of the given AP is 28. Now friends, here we will stop and I hope you must be enjoying this series and also you must have enjoyed this episode. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends so that they too will get connected with us and will get benefited and also subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.